Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. In this video, I want to introduce you to something new in the AI Content Dojo uh, website that I think is going to really help you get some work done, become more efficient with these AI writing tools, especially the freeform writing ones. So I'm just going to show you, this is the home page of the site. You know, you've probably seen this before. Let's go inside the dojo. This is the workflow page where you get to kind of see the overall workflow. But what I'm, I'm going through the steps here for is so I can show you in the main menu here, there's a new item called AI templates. So if you click on this, right now I have five templates done, but I'm going to be adding a lot more. I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But these AI templates are a way to kind of help get something specific from an AI writing tool like Phrase or shortly AI in Jarvis. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use these templates in Phrase because partly uh, right now, it's a little bit difficult to get certain things. And also coming soon, Phrase is releasing the ability to kind of create your own custom templates like right there inside a phrase and you'll be able to use these templates and just paste them in there and save them so that you can use them over and over again right inside a phrase and so let's start off with the persuasive bullets one this is uh, something actually let me show you some of the organizations right now you see here blog and copywriting those are buttons it's basically you can imagine that when there's like I don't know, a hundred templates or something, you know, this is going to be really full and you're going to have to, you know, scroll for a while. So I'm going to be categorizing them into certain, in certain ways to help you get through them. So obviously blog for things like, you know, article ideas or introductions and stuff. Copywriting will be like, you know, the ADA, you know, template or uh, persuasive bullets and unique value propositions, stuff like that will be under copywriting. Uh, so let's go into copywriting once just to, so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll go to persuasive bullets template. Okay, so this is what a template looks like. It's basically something that you're going to copy into phrase or one of the other tools, whatever your preference is, and get hopefully what you're looking for. So we want some persuasive bullets from this template. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over here and we're going to get copy here this uh product description that I already had written up. It's about food dehydrators called the foodie dehydrator. <laughs> and uh, you can see what by pasting it in here, it puts it into what we got here. Commercially drive for power commercial. Let's change that. Let's go ahead and change that. Let, let's let Grammarly help us out. Okay. So by putting this in here, it adds it to the template. And then all you got to do is copy this template. And then I go over into phrase. Let's paste it into phrase over here. I'm already on the right for me sort of sidebar. If this is not there, you know, when you go down here and you click right for me, this will appear. I'm not doing anything, you know, special. Actually, I don't need this to be, let's put it to, um, I think the length by default is hundred. I just put it down to like 90 for some reason. And I like to just, instead of always being creativity one, I usually just put it up to two for some reason, uh, experiment with that. That's going to be up to you and your needs. Um, I don't put anything in the context when I'm using a template like this because I'm basically providing the context here. And all you got to do is just hit the right for me button here. And in theory, assuming everything goes okay, because uh, sometimes it doesn't, you know, that's AI and sometimes it you know, seems to have a mind of its own. But in theory, it should give me persuasive bullets about the foodie dehydrator. And let's see what we get. And there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Let me show you something though, if you kind of, if you, if it's like, um, sometimes it'll, it'll kind of like skip to the next thing or something like that. And I want to show you a, a nice feature of phrase that the other tools don't seem to have. So let me hit right for me here. See right here where it says stop command S. So watch it as it's kind of putting content out. I cranked it up here a little bit to see if it does it more easily now but it might like skip to writing about something else because it kind of feels like it's done maybe writing about something let's see see there we go see it started let me just hit command s stop it and you can take that part away okay so that's getting persuasive bullets for our uh, product could be a service too by the way so let's go ahead and clear that 
Let's go back over to the dojo and let's go to uh, blog now. We're gonna try and get some article topic ideas. So let's go to the article ideas template. And then we're gonna paste in traveling in Japan on a budget. We just copy this, go back over into phrase, pay, click in there somewhere, paste it. All right, and then let's make this, <laughs> let's bring this back down. All right, and write for me. And so in theory, we should get some ideas for things we would want to write about traveling in Japan on a budget. And there we go. All right. Perfect. And of course, you could use any topic that you want, trying to get something for your niche. And uh, so let's go, go ahead and clear this. You saw that one in action. Let's go to uh, article introductions. And this is going to be the last one I show you for today. I, I will be definitely adding more, but... Um, Introduction is an interesting one, right? Because introductions can be, it's one of those things that's not always so easy for a, uh, some of these AI tools to do because generally there's not enough context for it to work with. But when you do something like this and you have a little template for it, let's see what we, if we can get um, some maybe introduction to how to find your lost car keys. <laughs> it's kind of a weird topic, but I was just trying to see if we can throw it for a loop here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's just going right into it. So let's go ahead and hit the redo button and see if we get something a little bit different. All right, it's uh, it, it kept the bolding, but uh, you know, you can usually take that away. Okay, so you kind of have a start of one. It's not really so great. Um, if you're finding that that's the case, maybe get in here and start. You know, like up here, I have something here, like in this article, I right. Let's go ahead and just like, mm, let's take this and change it to that, and then we hit right for me again and see what we get. All right, looks like it wants to stop right about there anyways, but okay, um, could just be the topic, you know, who knows, uh, or could be the, you could play around with creativity and the link slider and try and get something a little bit, a little bit different. That's one of the nice things about phrases that you actually have access to the creativity of the uh, AI. So you can kind of change this up and let it produce different results. You could also go in and add some background context if you really wanted to, you know, maybe some you know, a little bit more about finding lost car keys so that it can uh, have something more to work with. I mean, there's really very little. Like, if you think about it, it has the pattern, but it doesn't, the only context it has about, like, car keys is is this, you know. So, um, if you go in here and provide some more, you'll be able to get something a little bit more on topic. Okay, so those are templates, and if you, I mean, obviously you notice that they're a little bit interactive. In in this one, it's into your topic. Um, if you go into, I think you unique value proposition or persuasive bullets, you get enter your product description. If you go into featured snippet, that's the one that's going to help you try and create a featured snippet that you get from Google um, based on answering a question. This would be where you enter your question. So. These templates, there's going to be lots more coming. I have probably, like I said, 80 or so. I think about 80 or so that are uh, sitting in templates, I mean, in Google Documents, waiting to be kind of maybe tweaked and modified and polished up a little bit and then brought over into this website and put into this format so that it's consistent and it has this interactivity to help you make the best use of these templates. But yeah, and, and then after that, I have tomes of notes that I've taken over the months that there's lots of things in those notes that I could use to create even more templates. So I could easily see this becoming like 150 templates or something over time, maybe, depending on if, you know, there's really any need for it. We'll see, um, but definitely more to come. And uh, I hope that you find this interesting and helpful. This is just an announcement of it. This is new. If you find any bugs or anything and, and you're inside of the AI Content Dojo Facebook group, or you can leave them in the comments below, please let me know and I'll fix them, add some more context and things where necessary. 
And uh, if you need any help with these, let me know. I hope you enjoy them. And until next time, take care.